a lot of people say to me, oh, the Stadium Australia, it's no good, it's too big, it's you're too far away from the field, and I just walk in there and get chills every time I walk in. Mm. So I think this is where my dream was fulfilled that night. Mm, like yeah. These blokes helped deliver my dream yeah. as a kid to win a premiership. Mate, we are all there uh, on the night and, yeah. and the emotion, like you just said, but underneath it, the dressing room, what was the emotion like in, in that dressing room when everyone was there just on their own? Yeah, so it, it was quite interesting. So before the game, it was really quiet. I wasn't in the actual sheds, but I was outside the sheds. And you're used to a bit of activity, some broadcasters running around and different mm. ball boys coming up and down and all this sort of stuff. But it was just 100% focus for that game, and it was so quiet. And I... I knew my role with the media, but I didn't have any other role with social media or anything that night. And I thought, I'm just going to try and capture some stuff here that no one else will get. So the way our sheds work at Ains is saying, we've got our own sheds, which are right down in the southwest corner. So the boys have got to walk basically 50 metres up to the halfway tunnel, turn right, and then walk down the main tunnel. So I stood at that junction where they come out and the broadcasters were there and Sutto's leading the boys down. I can see him walking down that first tunnel and they stopped him. And he was just there and he just turned around to the boys. He said, we ready, boys? Mm. And they, you could just see it on their face. And as mm. I'm just filming the whole thing. And as they walked around the corner, they all followed out. I just followed them down with my phone. My hair's and just, standing up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Getting, getting the I just followed them down. All the red and green lights were in the tunnel and, all, and they ran out. And as you got down towards the end of the tunnel, you just heard the bell ringing with Bob McCarthy. And out they went. And so I thought, here we go. This is on now. And then I thought, where am I going to sit? Because I, I, I thought I might have a seat in the press box, but I wasn't sure because there's so m- many media outlets there and the overflow media areas are, are taken up. And I thought, I'm going to sit in the players' enclosure. So there was a seat, the very first seat in the front row on the left-hand side and the players' enclosure was empty, so I just went and jumped in there. So I was sitting front row. I had all the, the players that weren't playing sitting around me, everyone around in that players' enclosure. I will just get little snippets of the boys on the bench jumping up and down and... And I thought, could this get any better? Like, <laughs> how, did, how did I wow. get this seat? You know? so how did I get this seat? Yeah. And at the end of the game, when we scored those last few tries, and when Greg went in and we, we knew we had it, everyone was just jumping up and down. There was no one left in the player enclosure. Everyone was on the sidelines. <laughs> side everyone line. was hugging each other. The water bottles going everywhere. It was just, it was amazing. And after the game, when we eventually got back into the sheds, because it, it takes so long after they've mm-hmm. done all the presentations on the field and... The lap, um, of, the lap of honour. Yeah, well that that was a big moment for me too. So we were there helping Cole Wheel and the that you guys know very well that the NRL's photographer set up the team photo and he was telling me who who's got to be in the first one, who comes into the second one, and then I get this tap on the shoulder and it was Yvonne Sampson who was at nine at the time, but now with Fox, and she says after this you grab Sam. I've already got John Sattler over here, and I just oh, I just got the chill then. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a chill and I just went, this is what this game means. Like, this is Mm, what his performance means. And, like, everyone knows the stories of Sats. I grew up on the stories of Sats. And now kids Mm. in the future are going to grow up on the story of Sam. And and I, me and my partner hadn't had my daughter then. But um, I just think now, like, my daughter loves Sam and she loves Greg, even though they're not playing anymore, loves Sutto. But Mm. because these are the stories she's growing up on the same way I grew up on the stories of Sats and McCarthy and Coote and Definitely. all that sort of stuff. So that, that was pretty amazing. Back in the sheds, it was chaos. There was just people everywhere. There was drinks getting thrown everywhere. Everyone was on. Everyone wanted a piece of the trophy to get a photo with the trophy. And uh, one of the key moments that night, something I'll never forget, was right at the end of the night when the the stadium was empty. And... Madge said, "Come on, boys, we're going. We're going out to sing the song." So we, everyone went out to the middle of the field, and Cole came out with us, and he he stood in the middle of the uh, he stood in the middle of the circle, and the boys sang the song out on the field. It was empty, mm. and I went up into the stands on the the western side and just got a, a photo of this empty stadium on my phone with the boys all in a huddle in the middle singing the song and. It just echoed throughout that whole stadium, and wow. geez, it was a special moment. Amazing. Yeah. Then we had to hot foot it back to the the juniors. It was me and our two g- digital yeah. blokes 
in my car and I said, I've just got to be in front of the bus. <laughs> That's all I've got to be <laughs> so I can drop them off. So I've dropped them off out the front of the juniors because I wasn't getting the park. Yeah. I said, you blokes, in you go. You go and capture everything at the juniors. I drove home, dropped my car, got an yeah. Uber back to the juniors. <laughs> yeah. We're all here to I love celebrate. That story. Yeah. It's a great story. <laughs> Privileged to hear that story. Like I, yeah. I, I, Hair yeah. standing on the end. Like, I think that's of, of one of the, there. I think that's one of the best ones we've heard on the podcast yeah. so far, I mate. So is. that's. I think people are going to enjoy that. So my favourite moment as a South fan, if I can just go back to the back mm. of the track up a bit here, mate, but it was when they ran out. Like I was lucky enough to be in the Channel Nine box that day on the halfway line, and I'd never seen South run out the grand final before. I'd never missed a grand final from a little boy, mm. and just to see him run out. That's when I, oh, I don't know. That, that's my favourite. I know. Yeah. We, we, I knew we were going to win anyway. Yeah. But I, that moment of him running out, the roar of the crowd, and and then. Two minutes later, I remember starting to get the shits with Des Asler because he left Bulldogs in the dressing room an extra, what, yeah. five, six minutes? So the boys started warming up. Played into our hands, I tell I you. I thought, we yeah. got him back last night, Des, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that played into our hands because our boys could go out there and soak up the atmosphere of 83,000 people. Yeah. It backfired, on not it? Well, it did. And, and all the build-up, they would have heard the bell. They would have seen Bob McCarthy there ringing the bell as uh, we ran out. Mm. And then the Bulldogs left us there to be able to calm ourselves down and get ready for kickoff. Mm, yeah. The Bulldogs had to run out with their eyes spinning, James mm. Graham, and look look what happened in that first tackle, but yeah. And yeah, ba- and I both think it played into our hands. Both Mavo and I were in that corner when GI scored that try. Mm, yeah. But I think the game was sealed then, but that just put the nail in the coffin and yeah. everyone piled on him and he'd done the goanna and was just amazing scenes. Yeah. And, yeah. and even uh, when they done the lap of honour, we spoke about it just before and I was down on the fence and Sam came up to us and he, he said, well, watch me watch me face Brownie and stuff like that. I've got a photo with my daughter and just amazing, you know, yeah. and to be part of it and, and know that we played a, a small role in, in that, you know, in that grand final play, yeah. playing for the... It was the one Mighty. of the best days of my life. I know that. Yeah. I'll never forget it. 